Uh, my name is Derek Smith and I'm the director of Sucks to be Vegan. To kick it off, uh, how did you get into filmmaking? Uh, I've always been into filmmaking uh, ever since I was a little kid. My mom, it's actually funny that Tom Matthews is here because I watched Return of the Living Dead yep. and then I realized Tar Man was in the basement, which is where we kept all of our washing machines. <laughs> And I wouldn't go in the basement for two years after watching it. Really? And, <laughs> and just ever since then, I just loved it. Started anything I could find. My mom let me watch that. She let me watch Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead. My mom was a horrible influence. <laughs> but it is, and because she loves Stephen King, so she always let me watch Stephen King movies. So I got like Graveyard Shift and yeah. Salem's Lot. And ever since then, that's all I wanted to do. And then. Uh, uh, my childhood friend and I actually started making movies together. Okay, and well, that, uh, about uh, about when did you start doing that? Oh man, I was in the military there for a long time, so by the time I got back, he came back from film school in Florida, yeah. and we just happened to meet up again in uh, about 2018, 2019, right before the pandemic, that's when we got going. And then I met up with another crew of people, and then we started making movies together, and it's just yeah. been nonstop ever since. Yeah. Well, what, uh, what made you decide to become a filmmaker? It's just, I, I love it. I love movies. I mean, yeah. Uh, and I actually, I had a movie select for Halloween Blues last year, but I couldn't make it down. Okay, which one was it? Um, Devil's Gambit. I don't okay. know if you remember yeah. that one. Yep, yep, yep. That was mine too. <laughs> but And we were actually filming that day. So I'm actually, my, my mom, being the influence that she is, I'm like, hey, I can't go to Halloween and lose it. She goes, what do you want me to do? I'm like, you can use my pass if you want to go, go down there and just use it. So she came down and had an absolute blast. Yeah. And now that I've got to come down, I just. It's great, no matter who you talk to, any of these vendors, any other people, it's just, it's an instant bonding, because you yeah. all know what everybody's talking about. Yeah. Uh, how did you prepare for the uh, for the shoot? Actually, this one was another one of the challenges, so. Oh, was it? Yeah, we, it was the 48 challenge, for people that don't know, it's, you're given a random character, a bit of dialogue, and a prop, and you got 48 hours to write, shoot, edit, and submit a film. Yeah. And we always joked about it, and like I said, we had the, the Sucks to be Vegan title was a, a shot at, our director of photography at the time because yeah. he was a vegan and we'd always have crafty and we're like oh we got this this he's like what'd you get me i'm like well, there's grass and bushes outside yeah. i mean you can, you can help yourself and we got joking about it someone made a joke about a vegan vampire and and uh, me and damien allen mancino who was actually the star of the film him and i looked at each other and i go i swear to god if our category is dark comedy jake i go you are toasted but we're making a <laughs> vegan vampire movie <laughs> and just happened to get that category we looked at it and yep. smiled because well i guess no we're doing that we only got cross all these other ideas we made a whole list of everything we could do and just cross everything out and just circled yeah, <laughs> vegan vampire. Like you're done. That's it. So, how do you break that down? Because you have to. I mean, you've got 48 hours until you have to submit from when you get all of the criteria that you just listed. Yep. How do you kind of break it down? Um, what, what, we, what we did for this one is because uh, Kevin Shepard helped write this one. We all kind of, we all kind of give an ideas, and then we just kind of lock him in a room by himself and already start writing. Yeah. And then uh, usually uh, no Damien, food until you're done. Yeah. You, everybody else can eat. You sit there and just be quiet. <laughs> So uh, Damien and myself and Kevin, we all kind of sit there and we'll just kind of let him start writing. We'll kind of check, you know, what are you doing here? He'll ask us for tips. And we don't leave the office until it's written. Yeah. So that way, when it's done written, we can send out, we have a whole, I think this year we had like almost 30 people wow. on standby. We're like, okay, we need you, you, you. Yeah. So we make sure we have everything written out, everything we're going to need so that we can tell everybody the night before, send out the script, and then yeah. we usually have like a, an early call time. and. We just don't stop until we're done. Yeah. But the problem with this one is that we were so excited about shooting it, we were supposed to be under a seven minute max time limit. Yeah. And I come in, I'm sitting there rubbing my forehead, and Damien goes, all right, where are we at? I go, we're at 15 minutes. He's like, ah, get out of here, you're kidding. I'm like, no, we're about double what we're allowed to have. Yeah. <laughs> so we ended up breaking two different guys editing, and they just took chunks, and we're just kind of pacing back and forth, and we went to upload the project. I mean, there's like 10 minutes left to upload it. Yeah. And we're just watching this bar creep up, and a guy was gonna make a trailer. He said, can I grab this? And yeah, and he unplugged the hard drive, and everything went red. No. <laughs> and most people were yelling. <laughs> One guy smacked the table, and oh, and he started swearing up a storm. I was the team leading director. I just, I got quiet, and I walked out of the room. I'm like, I can't handle this right yeah. now. Everybody's yelling, plug it back in, plug it back in. We plug it back in. Hold your breath, everything went green again, and we got it loaded oh. on time. Just <laughs> <laughs> talk about down the wire. Oh my god. <laughs> we got a time play around this guy. No. <laughs> no, it was it was a panic moment for sure, but oh. but we're really good. We, I mean, we have everything planned. I mean we have 
know, our group people, they're going to do makeup, they're going to do sound. Yeah. We have everything planned up so that way when it's go time, everybody's just ready to roll. And is there anything that you wish that you would have done differently on this 48-hour shoot? Um, it's a little dark. Some of the some of the jokes get missed. For example, when you're discovering she's a vampire, she goes in the bathroom and she takes a supplement. Well, yeah. it's so dark you can't read what was actually garlic. Oh. She was taking a garlic supplement, and that's why she spits it back out. So. It maybe we could have got a little bit close to that a little bit more, but it's kind of hard to light it when you don't want your vampire to see daylight. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. But it, it was it was a good time. There's some stuff that we wanted in there just didn't make time for, but yeah. all in all, we're all everybody's pretty happy with it. Uh, what's your favorite part of making movies in general? I love the experience of it. Okay. Um, and like I said, the team I work with, um, we have twelve very very close. Friends, and we actually, there's a small group of us, we actually, we work together so often, we actually all went and got tattoos. We all got matching tattoos, different places, different fonts, but we all have tattoos that say we love making movies. Yeah. And we're the type of people, I mean, you'll, you'll get in confrontation with some people. Like, I'm not working with him. You know, yeah. To hell with him. I'm, I'm done. Nope. Doesn't matter how mad we get, everybody takes a deep breath. We love making movies. Yeah. And just everything keeps moving forward. I like that. Uh, well, uh, why did you submit to Halloween of Palooza? Actually, ever since I heard about Halloween Palooza, yeah. that's actually like before any other fe- before I knew about any other festivals, like I'm getting in there. Yeah. <laughs> and now, and now having actually been here and experienced it, I'm like, I gotta make more horror movies. All right, sounds good. Well, thank you for stopping yeah, and talking. No Thanks for talking to me. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Uh, is there a place that people can find you um, online or anything? Um, right now, you can find us at MediaVerseStudios.com. Uh, you can find my work on YouTube for Heavy Oso Films. Um, you can see stuff I've done, uh, Century Films also. Cool, sounds good. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Thanks again.